What's up, P2? What you know? My name is Domino with the Zero, and welcome to episode number 38 of our Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue and Red Rescue Team with Neighbor. What's up? <laughs> and with myself. Uh, last time we started in this northern range. Um, we're tracking down. I don't even remember exactly what they told us we're tracking down. A uh, um, blue blur. We're tracking down blur. Sonic the Hedgehog, actually. Sonic the Hedgehog, actually. Um, and now we're both here and ready to go take on Sonic for the final. So sit back and enjoy. I hope you will check out Neighbor in the description. I, this is a terrible intro. Woo! Oh my god, it's Latios! I'll take this one. Okay. <clears throat> That's one of my favorite Pokemon. I was trying to think of what voice would, would be befitting. What voice would be... What is What, what about Latias? Does something came, come to mind for that? I feel like I could play off of whatever you do for Latios. Ah. They're, like, they're, they're a duo. They're paired. Okay, so... <clears throat> oh! Who are you? I see, you're trying to get your TMs back. But, nobody can stop me. I'm the Eon Pokemon Latios. I don't know what this is. If you really want your TMs back, you'll have to take them from me. I forgot that it was because of TMs. Forgot I only had one left. Okay, I was right. I did not want shot. <laughs> for a second, I forgot how broken bullet seed was. Actually, I'm gonna go for heat wave. Did 95? Use dragon breath. All right, hold on. Uh, tactics. Go after foes. DJ tactics. Go after foes. DJ, check IQ. Exclusive move user. <clears throat> or uh, check IQ, exclusive move user. <clears throat> let's play video games. Yeah, let's. But all, all two of us. Me both. You the buttons. Bullet Seed takes care of Kid Kuka. Kuka, Latios or Latias? Latios. Oh, please. Please let me go. I have to go. There's somewhere that I have to go. If I don't hurry, my my little sister. Oh, oh I feel so bad. We did that to him. We did that to him. That was... Well, I guess for these guys, it's, it's only... kind of his fault. For everyone watching, it's if you're watching on the day it comes out, it's only two days difference. For us, yeah. it was like... Never mind. <clears throat> Look, he's waking up. Oh, that voice is not there today. Whoa. <clears throat> where, where? This is the Pokemon Square. You fainted in the Northern Range, so we brought you back here. I'm Yo! Yeah. How dare you steal my fine selection of quality merchandise! You'd better be prepared for harsh justice! Is that Skarmory? Now wait. There must be a good reason for that. We should at least hear that. That's right. I have to get to my sister. Oof. Ugh. This wound. I have a hole in going through me. You're injured. You can't fly for now. Bullet seed is one heck of a move. Tell me, how do you justify what you've done? I have a younger sister. Her name is Latias. Latias crashed somewhere in the Pitfall Valley. What? The Pitfall Valley? What's that? What's the Pitfall Valley? It is near the Northern Range! They say that anyone so unlucky to fall into the Pitfall Valley will never again emerge! Lachias and I were flying over the Northern Range. 
when suddenly what appeared to be a meteorite struck Latias on the wing. Oof. Her wings shattered by the blow, Latias tumbled down into the depths of the Pitfall Valley. Meteorite? Domino, do you think maybe we caused that? I went to the Pitfall Valley in hopes of rescuing my sister, but I made little headway. I wasn't up to the task. So that drove you to steal the technical machines? Yes. I intended to make amends after I saved my sister. But that doesn't mean I can get away with my thievery. It was wrong and I'm sorry. Oh! Oh my! It's not a problem, not a problem at all! For a reason so compelling it can't be helped! <laughs> what's, the, what's the reason? What's the reason? I don't understand the logic of, I need to save my sister so I'm gonna steal some TM. That's what I'm saying, like, what's that gonna do for Audio. If you really need moves that bad, get yourself some elixirs. friends. Yeah. However, even if you were to plumb the depths of Pitfall Valley, I don't know what that means. What would you do then? The, ne the nether regions of Pitfall Valley go, are go, a void. Go plumb the depths. You will wander forever, neither falling nor living. What then? So much time has passed since my sister crashed. Latias hasn't been able to climb out of the depths. She is still all alone down there. Even if I end up like her, unable to escape, two would be better than one. Latias wouldn't have to be so alone. How foolish. Do you think Latias wishes for that? But it's a place you can't escape, is it? I don't see how we could do a rescue in a place like that. No. There is, there is but one possible way. Escape orb. You can? How? You already have the means in your possession. It's an escape orb. Oh yeah, the teleport gem. Remember when we made that? Use it. Oh! The teleport gem, the one we used to get to the sky where Rayquaza lives. But it got broken in the Falling Stars the explosion. Star. <laughs> While it is unlikely to carry you to the sky again, it should be able to carry you a shorter distance. If you were to use the teleport gem from deep within the Pitfall Valley. That's it! If we did that, we could escape with Latias. Dominator! This rescue this is a rescue that only we can do! Let's go rescue Latias! Whew! Do, 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 do. Let's do it! Team Domination gained access to the Pitfall Valley. That's us. Alright, I think that... Oh. <laughs> yeah, I didn't have... Wait, what's this? Oh, we already did that. New types of machines. Oh, okay, I already did that. Alright. So do we still have the team put together? No. All right, let's put the team back together, and I think we should head to Pitfall Valley. All right, let's... Where is Aurora? I don't I, I am currently not sure what my team is. Like, yeah, I kinda, I'm, I'm kind of the same. I like Mew on the team, and I, I am Abra. It's me. I think... Um, actually, like, neighbor is the least in there team member for me. Just because of the moves. Like, just because of the moves. Oh, I can't. My items are full, so I can't take this item from you. Alright, so we're gonna make our way, after we do all of this stuff, we'll make our way... To go get Latias. Now, we do still need to do something for that, uh... Uh, what's that really weird Pokemon? Uh, there's a lot of those. Spinda? Spinda! It started swaying and I was like, that's, okay. That's uh, the only way I could come up with it. Uh. Okay, hold on. I need to get an apple and an orange berry. 
Think I can do it with two reviver seeds? I can't. I'm gonna try to do it with two reviver seeds. I only have four left. Jesus. How how long? Dungeon. How much am I preparing? For? I I don't know for sure. I would imagine since it's where Latios, it's similar to where Latios was, probably gonna be 25. <laughs> okay, so that's not a big. No. Not a big map <clears throat> compared to what we've been dealing with. Right. I don't need to prepare. Oh, you mean that like hard. you mean like the buried ruin? Yeah, buried relic. Buried relic. Well, it ruined everything buried, for me. Buried. Buried ruining my fun. Buried, buried ruined my life. Buried the reason that no, I've never played. No, I'm not going to the buried relic. I have an S tier at 59 and a star at 71. The star. It's a star. I knew that was coming. Does that give you some frustration? Do, 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 do. like this music after 18 weeks oh i think i still that's one thing that i'll never so right, this may about ready this may be a mistake but remember how i said that i should buy some frustrations throw up engine where we uh set level one yes i found two i know i have one in my my reserves. Alright, I think I'm gonna finally, because it's been a while, I think I'm gonna actually get some bands out for the team. I need three special bands. I have three special bands left. That means if I die, I lose all of them. Yeah. And you know me. I'm gonna die. Yeah, it's gonna happen. It is very Spinda? likely. Why is Spinda here? We ain't dealing with you right now. All right, first things first, before I go anywhere, I've learned to come back and save. So if I accidentally run in with Charizard by himself. Good call. All right, are you about ready to go? I'm ready to go. Dang, that was fast. All right. Not too bad, not too bad. Oh, I'm pressing other buttons. Hold on, I can't see. Why do we have something at Great Canyon? Let's spin this thing. Oh. I just don't know how long that's going to take. Go home, spin it. You're drunk. Pitfall Valley. Do, 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 do. All right. Ooh, no exposition. Just throw us right into it. Well, I think we had... It looks... Well, at least from... We saw a Ladybug on your screen, and we saw a... Uh, Pidgeot on my screen. So I think they're... Uh, um, not too good. Uh, the same Pokemon as we had before. Is okay. what I'm getting at. Is what I'm, that's, that's what I'm putting down. Oh, I forgot to give bands to people. Items. Special band give to me. Hold to do. Special band give to TJ. Special band give to Aura. Also, you just reminded me I should probably set this so that they will come with me. Yeah. Also, maybe set so they're not exclusively attacking. I don't know. Maybe maybe you want a lot of bullet seeds. Well, I have 30 of them. And I think I still have a couple max elixirs. Unless I forgot to pick those up. I still have three max elixirs. So, I think I'll be good. Hmm. All right, so what am I going to die to today? Maybe that should be the question of the day. <laughs> what do you think I'm going to die to in this dungeon? I think it might be easier to gamble what will not. Oh, there's a Butterfree. Actually, there's two Pokemon in this. In this, I can't see them, so I'm going to kill them all. Does that Butterfree have Silverwind? Because if so, I, would put, I just picked up two Escape Orbs. I feel like that's not a good sign. I think that's just RNG. I haven't picked up any. Game's telling me I'm gonna need these. You're gonna wanna get out of this place. Yeah. I just ran to a hop it. I'm scared. Oh, I'm. 
Oh, that's the I worst. I love that. When you're confused and you accidentally circle back around to... That's the worst, because there's nothing that you can do to... You're just hoping that you come out of it when you're not standing on top of it. Oh my gosh, that scream took so long. Oh, you know what I probably should do? You know what the pro strat is to avoid that? Probably just holding A and B to pass time. Yeah, that. but nobody does pro strats. Nobody knows how to play this. Not like there's a speed run. There is. Really? Yeah. How fast do they complete it? Four to six hours, I think. That's a long time for a speed run. Yes. Yeah, well, it's obviously not the whole game. It's the first. The yeah, first yeah no, no, no. it's it's the first bit. There is no speed run. I guarantee you, of people RNGing their way to get a Mew. Are we gonna be the first people to ever complete this game? Ever in the history of ever? Yes. They were play testers. <laughs> Based on the RNG that I've seen, I don't think there was anybody that play tested Mew. Yours was worse than mine. Mine was pretty. I at least got to. I found Mew quickly. Didn't yeah. I find Mew in the episode? You found Mew naturally, and then we didn't even think about trying to recruit it. Oh, right. And then you went back and you still found Mew before, before me. Before you ever found Mew. Found Mew twice before I ever found Mew once, and I'm pretty sure you recruited Mew before I ever found a Mew once. Yes. Because that was the, we had to take it, we, we did an episode break there. Yeah. These floors are going so quickly. You are on 11. That is crazy. I would probably be there if it weren't for all this snow. Yeah, hey, my floor went so quickly, it didn't even have time, it didn't even have time to hit me with the hit. Like. Hail is so... Like, I, the damage doesn't bother me. What bothers me is that I have to full stop every six steps. Yes, that takes a long time. Especially when you're not holding down a speed up button. Oh I All just, right. I, I pressed the button literally as I said it. Or, th th this nickname is for everybody who uh, has speed ran. Pokemon Sun and Moon. Not Sun and Moon. Uh, Pokemon X and Y. Or just anyone who is taking advantage of the actual good in-game trades in it. Farfetch'd his name Quacklin. I think that's the name of the... Uh, the in-game in trade game that you get? The name is Quacklin? Pretty sure. Uh, I think you trade Bunnelby for it. You can get Bunnelby as a guaranteed patch in the first row. Is anything on that first route yeah, before? Yeah, it's guaranteed. But did you know that the Pidgey that you run into yeah. is always a Pidgey? Scripted within the fruit. It's the second step of the grass. Yes. The I remember the first time I was like, oh, this seems scripted. And everyone was like, oh, this. Oh, 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 oh. I was like, okay, y'all are like, kind of kind of dumb. Alright, I'm literally more than halfway through this dungeon compared to you. I tried to go for the pro strats and warp my teammates so that I could then uh, make them leader if I happened to warp them next to the stairs. They both warped, like, floor back to where I already just been. I give up on the pro strats. Yeah, I'm just kind of running. You don't do that. Alright. There's Swablu here. I feel insulted. What games have you sped run? I don't think I've ever actually done like a speed run. Like I've never sat down and routed something and got it to completion with the intent to go fast. What's your favorite game to watch a speed run? Um There's a lot of good speed runs. Um so I watch the GDQs on the regular, so I love watching the regular uh, Super Metroid speedruns. Oh, runs. crap. Pterodactyl. Fine. Super Metroid speedruns are always really good. 
uh, Ocarina of Time got me into watching speedruns. See, <laughs> my issue with speedruns is that people don't in, like. I get it. If you're playing the game 10, 15 times in a row, trying to get a better time, like impact of the story. That's why like, I can't watch Breath of the Wild speedruns. Oh yeah. Because I'm so emotionally attached to the game that seeing it ran like that hurts me. That's why those are the categories. There's a 100% route of uh, Ocarina of Time that's also super fun to watch. Just movement in Ocarina of Time is really cool. Um, any movement heavy like speed game like Mario 64, that's at least a game that I've played and I understand the movement for. That I can understand and watch and be like, oh wow, I understand that was actually really hard to do. Those right. are super fun. Um, I tried to learn some Ocarina of Time speed game stuff. Very hard. <laughs> I can escape the forest early. Pretty, pretty easily. That one's not too hard. I can get Door of Time skip. After a little bit of finagling. I don't think I'm any consistent at it, but I can do it. Like, I feel like I'm good enough at it to say that I can do it. Uh -huh. I started to do, like, Pokemon Red speedruns. Yeah. And, uh... You have to play it on an actual cartridge. Yeah. So that didn't work out. I considered doing uh, doing Pokemon X and Y speedruns because I thought that the route was really interesting compared to other ones where like you pick your starter just now where you were like 20. Um, I don't think it was quite that long ago. You pick your starter, you power level your starter, and then by the end you have a 70 level 70 like for alligator using rage for the whole way which i get it it's a way to go fast it's also a boring way to go fast whereas in xy uh you catch bunnelby this is totally subject to have changed by the way um i don't know if this is still the route but the route that i understood was catch bunnelby you trade for quacklin uh you take Quacklin through the first gym. Uh, and Quacklin is what? Quacklin is a Farfetch. So okay. you trade Bunnelby for Farfetch. Take that through the bug gym. If easy. Uh, and then I believe you go right outside the second gym. You know the stress between the first and second gyms? Yes. So Quacklin puts in some work for you. Why is Abra running away? <laughs> what are you doing? Okay. Um. Oh, goodness. So, Quacklin's chilling with you for a good bit. Uh, you then have to find yourself a Halucha and hope that it's decent. Which, by the way, the fact that Halucha is used in the speedrun yeah. makes me love everything. Um. And Halucha is the only Pokemon, I think, in the route where you have to worry about, uh, like, luck on the IVs, and it doesn't have to be that great, I'm pretty sure. It just has to be decent. This can't be bad. Yeah. So there's, like, a good range of, of possibility for you. And then, uh, oh goodness. Oh, and my whole team decided to just jump on the... Okay. This thing paralyzed both of my mons that it was standing in front of. So many traps here. Oh my goodness. I got sidetracked. Okay, so. Uh, you get a Halucha. You beat the second gym. Right. And then you take the Halucha all the way through until you get the gifted Lucario. Right. And the Lucario has guaranteed IVs, as does Quacklin. So, like, you're always set on those. 
route based on those. And then I think the Lapras helps you at some point for something, but it's mostly just uh, Lucario takes you through the rest of it. That's like a super cool route, is like, you get to use a Farfetch'd, which is wild. Right. You get to use Halucho, which is one of the coolest Pokemon ever. And then you take through a fan favorite Lucario the rest of the way. Huh. Let's say that does sound fun. Yeah. But apparently it's like an RNG fest and not fun. And I was going to, I was like, okay, I'm determined as soon as Sun and Moon drops. This is before I had like seen anything about it when I still was like, spoiler free. It's like, I'm going to speed run that game. I don't care. Uh, and then the game dropped and it was a movie and not a game. <laughs> I love that game, but it's as a speed run, especially it's a movie. Right. Like half yeah. of the, half there of the time. a lot of cutscenes. I think literally like it had been timed and uh, half of your average run is spent in cutscene, not doing anything. I'm like, that would be the most frustrating experience. Yeah, for ever. sure. Um, so I just never ended up committing to it. I feel like if I ever did commit to a speed game, it would have to be like 30 minutes. Uh -huh. Like, under an hour. 30 minutes per run? Yeah. And I would hope that, like, me determining whether the run is dead or not would happen on in, like, 15 minutes or less. Alright, well, I am here. So while I let you finish that, I'm gonna let you entertain the people for a minute. I gotta go blow my nose. How professional is that? That's, that's relatable. I'm struggling here, too. I'm just 20 floors behind. Not that far. I'm on floor 16. I'm only. Yeah, it's about 20 floors. Carry the one. Let's see. I'm gonna put all of them front because you is so squishy. I feel like. I don't know. It's weird to me that Mew is so defensively weak. I feel like that's just the way that they handled levels in these games. I don't totally understand, like... Oh, that was not... I don't totally understand how they, like, decided how levels work. Because the stats on screen clearly are not... A good indicator of your actual stats. So I have no idea how strong or weak something actually is. Hey, did you make it? I'm trying. You're on the same floor. Yeah. <laughs> I I'm guess, trying. to be fair, I wasn't gone that long. I'd be concerned if you were gone long enough that I, I that I'd made it. Right. Like, yeah, I'm on 25. I already finished. Um, I actually just finished the entire game. Yeah, I just went ahead and, uh, did the next five chapters. It fall? Is that good or bad? Do That's we wanna, good. Do we want to talk about what chapter we're on versus how much is left? Oh! I think we've talked about that there's you know what? 15. I meant to say it. Yeah. Thank you to everyone that continues to check out the series. Oh, yeah, this the is The series a, is doing a pretty good job. This is a long one. Yeah. This is a... Well, for my channel, it hasn't hit long yet. That's true. I have you a got lot some. of 50 episode series because I go so slow. Because <laughs> I suck at Pokemon. <laughs> I thought it's because you were thorough. Because I'm thorough and I suck at Pokemon. <laughs> you thoroughly suck at Pokemon? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> oh. I do. I thoroughly suck. When, when is Neighbor going to hit a main series Pokemon game on this channel? What? You'll, you'll never see how bad I am. No, you, you talk about all these different kinds of runs that you do. I don't know anything. I just play the game. And pick the popular one. Well, the thing is... I could just play the game. But I've done it so many times. That it becomes boring. 
Did you see what that PP trap just did to you? Uh, got rid of my 99 PP. No, no, no. The one it did to Mew. No, what did it do? Wait, uh, Abra. No, that was, you just looked at... Probably just looked at... Yeah. Oh, got rid of my bullet seeds. Yep. What are my bullet seeds? Somebody kill this Aerodactyl. Yeah, Aerodactyl, Aerodactyl like... Backlund's gonna learn Swords Dance. Who's knockoff? Knockoff's not a good move in this game. But knockoff's a good move in Gen 6. Yes. When you get Quackling. Oh yeah, does he use... He does get knockoff. I think Quackling's one of the few that like, naturally learns knockoff by level up at like a normal... Like level where it's a... Can you imagine if I just die walking around this floor? I'm so mad. I literally just sped up from the last slow trap that I stepped on, and then in the oh, next shit. room landed. Like, I saw the text, you've returned to normal speed, and then hit another slow trap. Am I crazy? Okay, no, I can go up here. I mean, yes, but also, no. I'm gone, I'm gone, I'm gone, I'm gone. There are so many Pokemon. <laughs> I want nothing to do with any of them. <laughs> hey, at least you haven't ran into any monster houses today. Don't, don't bring that evil into my house. I mean, usually you've already ran into two or three. Right? Usually it's directly after walking into a room. By, uh, directly after going up the floor? Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, you're pretty much there. There's no way that can happen now. Hey, how many episodes have there been where I am the one that gets messed up? Can this Aerodactyl just go? Quacklin, I need you right now. Oh, no. Quacklin, everything was riding on you. I have missed the past four Oh, I've, Fire spins in a row. I've seen. Quacklin. The world needs you. <laughs> you know, it really seems like my Charizard... This may as well have been a monster house. Oh, Quacklin. My Charizard is by far superior. See that? Did you spirit attack? And it did 51 in one hit. That's a broken... Well, Abra, come back. Abra's gone. Abra, you can go. I'll let you live your life. Abra just wants to explore. Shadow Ball cannot be used. Abra, use your big brain. Is that high IQ? Abra has no moves. No, Abra is dumb. The other one that's smart. Abra has two two stars. Could be worse. You know what that just reminded me of? <laughs> I kind of wish Abra didn't have Ooh. two stars because... If I was going to be leading as Abra, it didn't matter. And now, Abra's like not a great candidate for uh, for the future dungeon, you know, where they reset to level one. Oh, because you need low IQ. Yeah, you need low IQ. So I'm going to keep Mew at one star. Yes. So I can just carry Mew in. But I need to find Bullet Seed so I can teach it Bullet Seed. What are his moves now? Psychic, Shockwave, Flamethrower, and Rock Smash. I don't want... I don't want Rock Smash. You might. I'd rather have Bullet Seed in that slot. Yeah. I'd rather have Bullet Seed over Shockwave than keep Rock Smash. So what types do we have here? Because I have something to cover water... Flying... <coughs> fighting... Um, poison... So generally good type coverage moves. Got Bolt Beam coverage you can oh baby the triple um uh we have bolt beam so you can learn shockwave ice beam and that would cover a lot i think psychic would be enough after that there is uh rock fighting coverage which i don't think is going to be great think, rock fighting yeah rock fighting covers a lot well i have psychic yeah no, I just mean like two two type combos that cover everything by themselves. Oh. Yeah. 
So, um, what else? Oh yeah, edge quake combination, like ground and rock covers a lot. I don't know. I feel like you could just teach ice beam. And, uh, See, I need an ice beam instead of rock smash. But I want bullet seed. Teach bullet seed or flame throw. Better flame throw. In this content. But then what do I do for grass? Ice beam. Then what do I do for bug? There are no good bugs. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say, what, are, what bug are you worried about? Because Beautifly? Beautifly is broken. So you shockwave it, or you ice beam it. Did you see flying. the title of the last episode? It's Beautifly part, is broken. Beautifly is part flying. You've got two moves for flying. Okay, you're you're right. So I so psychic, shockwave, bullet seed, ice beam. No rock smash. Do I need Rock Smash in that 99 floor? Probably not, actually, because the more that I think about it, the more I'm thinking that, oh, goodness. Uh, the more I'm thinking, like, you don't want to avoid fights in that dungeon. Like, you'd rather just fight things and level up. So you're not, like, struggling by the end of it and needing to rely on the Rock Smash. That Aerodactyl was moving rather swift. There was no speed up button on my end. Well, the other one used agility. Yeah. And as we found out, agility... Broken. It's for everybody. Broken. Remember that? I think we're struggling now. You remember Sky Pillar? I try not to. Do you remember the three or four Aerodactyls that were going in a circle? On my that screen? Was, that was one of the scariest moments. Literally gave me goosebumps. You're kidding me. There's two is possibilities. It, it it's either there or there. That was the most annoying gravel rock in the history the of time. The longest. Oh, please. And that's why gravel rocks are so good. Would you stop it? Stop it. Leave my Pokemon alone. As he accidentally takes an extra step. No, that was uh, planned to get out of the way so that uh, Ibra could take care of things. Uh, oh, you better hope it's not at the bottom. Oh, I thought that was just a circle. I was ho I was thinking it would would be. It looked like a circle. To me. So you've got to work on those bullet seed strats. I know how to hit bullet seed on every occasion. Ooh. Where are my moves at? Got one bullet seed, that's all that I need. I've got three. If, if I... If I die before that, then I'm just, I'm just terrible. All right, you got one, you got one more floor. I'm gonna laugh when we get to floor 25 and it just says 25. Like I'm just assuming that's why I like. Yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't, don't have know. anything to base that off of. I'm just guessing it's gonna be 25. I'm so excited to see what's on floor 20. <laughs> really? Oh. 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 I haven't used a single one of those in this entire playthrough. I did not expect him to move right in front of me like that. I am so intimidated. I need to leave Quacklin alone. Okay, seeing this top screen is like tripping me out right now. Bro, the top screen is wild. Very Why does this show confusion? Did it? I have not noticed yes. that. Yes! The confusion was also above that one's head. <clears throat> really funny. All right. Wait, when did you teach a second bullet seed? It happened. I don't remember when. I feel like I made a big deal of it. Everyone's just out here trying to copy TJ. It is a trendsetter. That's what the T stands for. Trend? Well, like ten, trend jetter, trend jetter, got him. Um. Nice, a lot of aerodactyls. Luckily, it's only two. Look, 
Quacklin has this. Literally, Quacklin did. Y'all sleeping on Quacklin. Pitfall trap? Pitfall trap? No, you don't want to pitfall. And before we go! What? Hold on. Hold the phone. See, what do you do? No, we're supposed to. Don't press anything. I'm so confused. How long did I sit here? Look at those two. Those two are ready for a battle. I feel like, what if Latias is just roaming on floor 25? Did I make a huge mistake? Are we gonna come back from this and be like, Bloody House wasn't there, sorry. I also really wanna know why I went down the pitfall and two of my team members were just gone. They fell down the trap. This is where today's episode ends. You'll have to come back to find out exactly what happens after we click the next button. If you did enjoy today's episode, one, make sure you check out Neighbor, whose stuff is in the description. And you can show us by answering the question of the day, which I'm probably gonna do something speed, speed run related. Um, answer that in the comments down below. We will see you in the next episode. Until then, spread some positivity, be the light, and have a blessed day.